and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys. Today we got the playoff promo. The playoff promo is officially here guys. I'm super hyped to go over everything. We got 12 new masters, two playoff legend masters, as well as some playoff packs and probably some solos and some sets. Gonna be very, 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 very cool. I got, a, I got a quick peek at the Masters last night. I do really like the Legend Masters, the Playoff Masters. I haven't really, I have to go more in depth on them before I give my final opinion on them. And we're going to see the Playoff Pack odds and obviously everything else. But let's head on over to sets and see what we're working with there. Because I always like to start with sets. Always a good indicator. And of course, guys, guess what isn't here yet? Of course they aren't. But let's see, what are the packs there though? Oh, the packs are here. The packs are here. That's, that's, that's hilarious. All right, so we got an 85 overall Playoffs Pack, a regular Playoffs Pack. We got a Legend Fantasy Pack, because we do have new Legends today. And we got a 20 times Playoff Bundle. So the bundle includes 20 Playoff Packs and a Fantasy Top for completing a 93 overall player. I do not think that's worth it, although the 93 overall player will be one of the top pieces for the Master player. I don't really think it's worth it. Let's see what the overall odds are. Guys, I'm not going to lie, the Playoff Packs in Madden history have always been some of my favorite packs. Although, pack odds are not as good as what they used to be. 91 plus, 3.9%, not feeling that one. Let's open up this 85 plus Playoff Player Pack. And a desync occurred. What the hell? Oh god, here goes the servers. Should have saw that one coming. Right, before we get to this video, I did forget my intro. Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on about boys. Can we hit 17k subscribers by the end of the week? Let's make it happen. We're super close. We've been doing real great this week. Thank you guys for that. And what's really helped us do this great on for my best week on YouTube as it is has been the like button. Noti gang, if you're here right now at 10 30. Make sure to spam that like button, come out to the video, and let's see, can we get 250 to 500 likes on a 10.30 video? That'd be greatly appreciated. If you guys all start liking it now, maybe we can hit that goal. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos all week, and comment down below if you need anything, or if you have any questions regarding the promo, now let's get into the video. Let's see, let's try to buy that again. And it sure has occurred, please contact customer service. All right, guys, we're not buying packs. They want to keep me no, they want to keep me as no money spent as possible. Is the playoffs here? Let's back out real quick and come back in real quick just to go check it. Why did you see how much of my hero stuff right there? All right, so as per usual, the packs are up in time. That's fine. The players are not. That's exactly how it's going to be going to be going every time. All right, so the NFL playoff solos are up at least. So the playoffs are kicking off. Play these challenges to earn a nat 95 overall playoffs hero. That is absolutely freaking huge. A free 95 overall player. Let's see how we get that, though. So it does not appear that it tells us how, but it does say these players can't play these challenges to earn a free 90. Okay, so it's uh, from the milestones alone it only shows us a nat 89 overall playoffs player for playing the whole sequence but i imagine if we go to objectives we probably get a free one now as you guys see here let's see playoffs how many challenges are there there is a total of 120 stars here and a total of 60 stars here so you, it shouldn't be too hard to get the top reward as it is right now now these do look like they're going to be okay so they're kind of like gauntlet type challenges just objective based play the objective get now the free 95 overall player is absolutely huge i'm super hyped about that because I wasn't even the biggest fan of all the cards, but I definitely, definitely want to try out. If, if I have a chance to pick one of them, I'm definitely going to end up taking my opportunity on that one. So let's go over to sets once again and see if we can finally look into everything. And so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna back at open team one more time just to check. All right, guys, so we're opening up our 85 plus overall playoffs pack. I don't know if that's a big animation. I don't know the difference here. 91 Miles Sanders. That's awesome. 91 Miles Sanders, 91 overall halfback. That's pretty crazy, honestly. For an 85 plus for $1.50, I will take that. 90 speed, 91 excel, 90 agility, 88 carrying. The other stats are kind of irrelevant, but solid, solid pull. Let's go see if I can go sell them real quick before we get, before everything else comes out. Now, the sets are not up yet, but the pack, the store did work, so that's, that's positive. We all know EA has to fix the store first. Once they fix the store and they can earn their revenue from us Madden players, then you know things are going well. That's, that's when they're, they're going to be fine. Okay, 115k. I got to sell this thing fast before it goes down in overall. Come on. Let's go sell this real fast. All right, let's go 105. 102, that's fine, that's fine. Should I get my quick coins? All right, so now back to everything. Let's go see if the objectives are up yet so we can go check out. And you play off, and of course they're not. Okay, one more second. So the sets are finally live. The NFL playoff, three subcategories going to this. So we get the AFC, the NFC, and the exchange, guys. So what does that show you guys? Identical to last year. So our video going over, what to expect? We hit that one. We hit that one in the head right there. So AFC Legends of the Playoff Champ Bailey. So let's start off with the lower players. So we got Kevin Byard, Tremaine Edmonds, Deshaun Watson, Travis Kelsey, Stephon Gilmore, Ronnie Stanley, and then the Masters Champ Bailey. Now to get the Champ Bailey, you have to put in three of the heroes, and you do get back. Let's see, 
you get containing your choice of three NFC AL. Exchange three NFC players to here learn the champ Bailey, his power item, and a fantasy pack containing your choice of three. Okay. Guys, so you get three of these back. You get three total cards back from this. That is a solid, solid value right there. I'm pretty sure you get three of them back. Your choice of three. No, no, no. I don't know yet. We're going to have to look into that one as time goes on. I'm not sure if that means your choice of three total or your choice out of three. We have to find out with that. Now, Ronnie Stanley, Gilmore, to do these sets, just like last year, you got to get five to six. No, six of their pieces from their team. So, the playoff promo is typically a very good team type promo for a lot of people. So, Matthew Judon, Marquise Brown, so on and so forth, you guys can see. The higher overalls are here, working their way down to the right. Now, my personal opinion... I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of these heroes. I'm going to go over some of the stats on the auction block in just a second. But as you guys know, it goes in that order. So that Miles, that Miles Sanders that I got will be able to be going into the NFC set, obviously. Now, the NFC set, we got Legends of the Playoffs, Terrell Owens. We got Marshawn Lynch, D. Ford, Devonta Adams, Drew Brees, Daniel Hunter, and Brandon Brooks. Now, same thing for Terrell Owens. You put in three of these guys, and you get back Terrell and one of them back now. Now, I don't know if it's one or three yet. We're going to have to find that one out. Hopefully, I can cover that for you guys in a separate video. And then the exchange set, we got Welcome Playoff Set. So you got exchange... 180 overall player for an 83 plus. I'm actually gonna do that right now because it does look kind of solid. TJ Watt, peace. Let's go see what we can get. 83 plus overall. That could be anything. I don't know what the, the animations look like for better things. I got that before, which was a good car. 83 Nate Davis. That's scary. I got the same animation before when I pulled Miles Sanders. So, I don't know. 83 plus, 87, 89, 91 to 93. All right, so this isn't horrible. Decent exchange sets. Now, let's go over to the objectives to see if it can show us how we get the free player. I imagine he's gonna play all the solos. It's probably similar to the NFL 100 solos. You probably just play them all. Let's make sure nothing up. How to get in there? Let's make sure nothing updated. Okay, so I guess you gotta play all the solos, and then you get the free 95 overall player. Now let's head over to the auction block and go check out all the cards that are in in this promo. By the way, guys, there were new legends. I'm probably not gonna go over them here because I'm kind of working on getting the playoff promos. You guys, that's probably what you care about a little bit more, more so than anything. So let's head on over to quality. And then go over to NFL playoffs and start looking at some of these cards. You guys probably saw the stats yesterday on the early reveal. But for all of you who did not, I'm going to try to go through as much of it as I can. So we got Marshall Lynch right here. 90 speed, 82 acceleration, 88 agility, 94 carrying, 96 trucking, 95 break tackle. Those are the important stats for Marshall Lynch. Not going to be a useful running back for me, in my opinion. Too slow. Going to be fun. Going to be great in a theme team. Obviously, all those things apply. Devontae Adams. Too slow again, 90 speed, 93 jumping, 92 catching, 94 catching traffic, 92 spec catch, 93 short route running, 91 medium route running, and 91 deep route running. Devonta Adams reminds me of a slower Julio Jones, pretty much what he comes down to. Brandon Brooks, going to be a great right guard, one of the best pass blocking right guards in the league, one of the best pass blocking right guards in Madden, as well as a phenomenal run blocker. Powered up and counted all the way, he's probably going to be the best right guard in the game, or at least up there with the NFL 100 players. Travis Kelsey, I personally don't think Kelsey's worth it. 86 speeds, okay. I think Tony Gonzalez is, look, Tony Gonzalez blows him away here. I'm not going to go for too much of the stats. But again, when it comes to that end, Tony Gonzalez is the move by far for me. Now, Kevin Bayard has some decent stats. 90 speed, 88 excel, 80 tackle, 94 play rec, 91 pursuit, 82 man, 97 zone coverage, and 82 hit power. Zone's phenomenal. Powered up and chemmed up. Going to be 99 zone coverage. Going to be great coverage-wise. Going to be like a cornerback. But I do think the hit power is a little bit low. I'd probably rather have Sean Taylor. Tremaine Edmonds. Great user linebacker, great hit power, great tackle, great play rec, but he's no different than the Bushes and the Shaziers and the Patrick Willis's. I think I'd rather stick with those guys anyways. I don't think he's a great upgrade unless you're on a theme team. Again, playoff promo, very heavily to aim towards theme teams. Ronnie Stanley, one of the best left tackles in the game. Same thing as per usual. Powered up and chemed up, going to be West, one of the best left tackles. Now, overall, guys, none of these guys really stand out to me just yet. Drew Brees, not a mobile quarterback. The accuracy is fine, but if I wanted great accuracy, I would have just taken one of the NFL 100 quarterbacks. I don't think Drew Brees is a guy worth upgrading again for. I think we're better off sticking with all the Mars and our Vicks, one of those cards. Then we got Daniel Hunter. Daniel Hunter is actually pretty interesting. 87 speed, 90 acceleration is insanely good for a left end. That's crazy athletic, great play rack, great block shed, great finesse move. Powered up and chemed up, going to be probably one of the best left ends in Madden right now with that crazy athleticism. Him, Horace Taylor on both sides, going to be wreaking havoc. D Ford again, crazy athletic, but the only issue with D Ford is going to be his block shed. If you guys can see here, the block shed is way too low for my liking. Looks like kind of like Joey Bosa. Not the biggest fan of this card just because of that. Joey Bosa had his issues. Deshaun Watson, if he had a power up card, if he was power upable, he would have been the best quarterback in Madden. He would have had he would have had deeper um 
what's it called? Roaming Dead Eye, whatever. Oh my god, Dashing Dead Eye. We had Dashing Dead Eye, Escape Artist. He would have been probably the best quarterback in Madden with really good speed for a quarterback, considering he has Dashing Dead Eye. Other than that, the card's good. If he does get a power card, we'll be one of the best quarterbacks. But by the time he does, we can't imagine that another quarterback would be out that's probably better at that point, which is kind of one of those things that suck. And we got Stephon Gilmore. Stephon Gilmore, 90 speed, 93 excel. What I care about in this Gilmore card is the 94 play record, 97 man, 90 zone, 95 press. Powered up and camera up, probably going to be one of the most locked on corners in Madden. But that speed's killer. It really is. That speed's a little too low for me. On a Patriots team or on a very properly chemmed up scheme, John Madden, sprinter team, he's going to be good. But at that point, a lot of people will be pretty good on that team. Let's refresh this one more time to so sure we didn't miss anyone. Because obviously not everyone's been on the block just yet. Let's see. I think we covered almost everyone, if not everyone. I mean, you guys saw most of the stats anyways, so I'm not really taking too much time on this. I'd imagine most of you, if not all of you, did. Let's check out the Masters. We got Terrell Owens right here for 1 million coins, 93 speed, 94 jumping, 94 catching, 96 catching traffic, 94 spec catch, 92 short route running, 90 medium route running, and 91 deep route running. This Terrell Owens card looks pretty beastly. Compared to guys like Randy Moss, though, I think I'd, have, I'd rather stick with Moss. It's gonna be, Moss is going to be cheaper, Moss is going to be more end game for me in my opinion, and Moss is faster. Terrell Owens still looks great. Let's see what his after the catch stats are. Can he, can he juke? Ball carry vision, stiff arm, stiff arm 92, okay. Terrell Owens, stiff arm 92, that's huge. Wow, if this car could have got arm bar or something like that, that would have been unreal. But I don't think I can think wide receivers can get it. But really good stiff arm. I actually do like that because stiff arm and cornerbacks is pretty easy, especially guys like Deion Sanders. All right, so th this Terrell Owens car is pretty beastly, not going to lie. Although I think I still rather stick with Randy. If Terrell Owens is for the right price, I'd probably end up taking him too. Now, all we're going to do is see this last Champ Bailey card. So real quick, let's go over these Champ Bailey stats. 96 overall Champ Bailey. 94 speed, 94 excel, 95 agility, 90 jumping, 92 play rec, 96 man, 91 zone, 91 press. Guys, powered up and chemmed up on a proper team. He's going to be Deion Sanders V2, except I think it'll be better than Deion for the time being. He's going to be just as fast, just as agile, just as everything. Plus, he's going to have 99 man coverage, like 94 zone coverage, 95 man zone coverage. 94, 96, 94, 95, depending on your team. And like a 94 press. He's going to be one of the most physical corners in the game. While being the most athletic corner in the game, or up there for it, while being one of the best coverage corners in the game, while also having a spin and juke move, great ball carry vision, and a good catching, guys. He's going to be Deion Sanders. That's physical. He can press, guys. He's going to be crazy. He's going to be really hard to go up against as a wide receiver. But that's about it for covering the Masters. Yes, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy the whole playoff promo and everything it came with. I think I'm getting some NFL playoff welcome pack, which I hope you guys are here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the Noti Bub boys for all the daily content. Greatly appreciate it. And guys, for a 1030 video, can the Noti gang kill the like button today? Can we get over 250 likes on a 1030 video? Can we get 500 likes on a 1030 video? We never do. Can you guys run up that like button? We've had a few of our craziest days on YouTube as of late because you guys are running up that like button. Brand new promo, spam the like button, comment down below, let me know what you think of these masters and everything else. I'm out, see you guys next video. Peace.